Joy to thee, O Queen of Heaven, Alleluia. He whom thou was meet to bear, Alleluia. As he promised, hath arisen, Alleluia. Call for us to God thy prayer, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who by the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, didst thou save to give joy to the whole world, grant, we beseech thee, that through his mother, the Virgin Mary, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. This truly is a martyr who shed his blood for the name of Christ, who did not fear the threats of judges, but attained the heavenly kingdom. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. We celebrate today the feast of St. Alphage, bishop and martyr. Our readings, however, continue the Easter cycle of readings for Friday in the third week of Easter. The first reading is of the conversion of St. Paul, which might be considered a bit curious in Easter tide, but in fact indicates that the church has always regarded that as a revelation of the risen Christ, albeit out of time and well after the ascension. And of course, that conversion was fundamental to the future of the church from that time onwards. And our gospel is about our Holy Communion with Christ, continuing Paul of uh, John's great concern about the indwelling of Christ in the Father being shared by Christ with all who participate in his life. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, by whose gift, blessed Alphage, fought for righteousness' sake even unto death, grant, we pray, through his intercession, that we may bear every adversity for the sake of your name, and hasten with all our strength towards you, who alone are life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. <clears throat> Saul was still breathing threats to slaughter the Lord's disciples. He had gone to the high priest and asked for letters addressed to the synagogues in Damascus that would authorize him to arrest and take to Jerusalem any followers of the way, men or women, that he could find. Suddenly, while he was traveling to Damascus, and just before he reached the city, there came a light from heaven all round him. He fell to the ground, and then he heard a voice saying, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Who are you, Lord, he asked. And the voice answered, I am Jesus, and you are persecuting me. 
Get up now and go into the city, and you will be told what you have to do. The men traveling with Saul stood there speechless, for though they heard the voice, they could see no one. Saul got up from the ground, but even with his eyes wide open, he could see nothing at all, and they had to lead him by hand into Damascus. For three days he was without his sight and took neither food nor drink. A disciple called Ananias, who lived in Damascus, had a vision in which he heard the Lord say to him, Ananias, when he replied, Here I am, Lord, the Lord said, You must go to Straight Street and ask at the house of Judas for someone called Saul, who comes from Tarsus. At this moment, he is praying, having had a vision of a man called Ananias coming in and laying hands on him to give him back his sight. When he heard that, Ananias said, Lord, several people have told me about this man and all the harm he has been doing to your saints in Jerusalem. He has only come here because he holds a warrant from the chief priests to arrest everybody who invokes your name. The Lord replied, You must go all the same, because this man is my chosen instrument to bring my name before pagans and pagan kings and before the people of Israel. I myself will show him how much he himself must suffer for my name. Then Ananias went. He entered the house and at once laid his hands on Saul and said, Brother Saul, I have been sent by the Lord Jesus who appeared to you in your way here so that you may recover your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately it was as though scales fell away from Saul's eyes and he could see again. And so he was baptized there and then, and after taking some food he regained his strength. He began preaching in the synagogues. Jesus is the Son of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm, go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news. Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news. We praise the Lord, all you nations. Proclaim him, all you peoples. Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news. Strong is his love for us. He is faithful forever. Go out to the whole world. Proclaim the good news. Alleluia, alleluia. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood lives in me, and I live in him. So, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, <clears throat> the Jews started arguing with one another, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? But Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, if you do not eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you will not have life in you. Anyone who does not eat my flesh and drink my blood has lost eternal life. But anyone who does eat my flesh and drink my blood does have eternal life, and I shall raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is real food, and my blood is real drink. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood lives in me, and I live in him. As I, who am sent by the Father, myself draws life from the Father, so whoever eats me will draw life from me. This is the bread come down from heaven, not like the bread our ancestors ate. They are dead. But anyone who eats this bread will live forever. He taught this doctrine 
in Capernaum in the synagogue. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, o Christ. Let us pray for the church and for the world, for all according to their need. As we offer our prayers this day, we pray for the friends of all saints, in particular for Genevieve Gomi, the Venerable Thomas M. Green, Jack de Gruta, Canon Michael Gudgeon, Sheila Gudgeon, Din Ginger Hall, Del Hall, and Monica Joan Hall. We pray for this parish and for its life, work, and witness in this community and to the church throughout the world. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for our nation and for nations and peoples throughout the world, praying for peace, we pray particularly for the Middle East, that wise heads and wisdom will prevail. We pray for those in great need in the communities throughout Israel and the Holy Land, for our own country. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for the community that lives and works around this church, for our own families and friends. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for those in particular need, in body, in mind, in spirit. Amongst the sick, we pray for Javier Barbetta, Martin Berker, David Craig, Roger Dilks, Father Harry Hodgetts, Leslie Lee, Wendy Leach, Elizabeth Lyon, Frank Otwell, James Roger, and Bruce Ross Smith. We pray today for the work of hospices and of all those who provide end-of-life care to those who are seriously ill or elderly, for all who work in the medical professions. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for those who have died, for the faithful recently departed, and amongst them for James Ford, and on their anniversary of death, we pray for Hugh Wittar, Rex Halliwell, Irene Veal, Kathleen Bates, Hilary Waters, and Colin Tolworthy, priest. Rest eternal grant to them, Lord. May they rest in peace. We offer our prayers and intercessions in union with all of God's people on earth and the saints in heaven, asking the intercession of St. Alphage and Our Lady Mary, whom we greet as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Pray for a few moments in silence, offering God our own prayers and intentions for this Mass. Merciful Father, I accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Christ came into the room with the disciples and said, Peace be with you. May the peace of God be with you always. And also with you.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed God. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of our hands, which may be the glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, which we offer to your majesty in commemoration of the blessed martyr Alphage, that it may lead us to obtain pardon and confirm us in perpetual thanksgiving. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right giving thanks and praise. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In some similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, 
which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with your servants, Jonathan, our bishop, Sarah, bishop of London, and all the clergy, religious and faithful. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Alphage, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him and in him, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I am healed.
unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Alleluia. Let us pray. We have received your heavenly gifts, rejoicing at this feast day, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that we who in this divine banquet proclaim the death of your Son may merit to be partakers with the holy martyrs in his resurrection and his glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Amen.